Thermosets versus thermoplastics, Oregon Tech's MMET department. One of the way polymers are classified is how they respond to heat. Some undergo permanent chemical reactions while others go through temporary physical changes. For thermosets, the way it was explained to me is that when you cross-link it, it's a one-way direction. So once it's cross-linked, you can't go back. It's like once you fry an egg, you can't unfry it. With thermosets, the curing process is exothermal, often referred to as vulcanizing. Once cured, you can't reheat it to form a new shape. Some of the attributes of thermosets is they have large amounts of cross-linking between the molecular chains, resistance to corrosion, brittle, hard, and they don't soften with heat. The more cross-linking, the greater the molecular weight is. It makes the material quite a bit stronger, higher temperature resistance, and stiffer. Examples of thermosets include polyurethanes, epoxy resins, vulcanized rubber, and polyester fiberglass systems. Thermoplastics soften when heated, but don't cure or set. In application, thermoplastics are usually heated up and injected into a cool mold, and with cooling, they are hardened into the desired shape of the mold. Thermoplastics don't form cross-linking, which allows them to be reheated and recycled. No chemical process occurs, only physical, which means the process is reversible. Thermoplastics can be recycled, but with repeated processing, the polymers will begin to degrade. Some of the attributes of thermoplastics include minimal or no cross-linking, ductile, and softens when heated. Examples include polyethylene, polycarbonate, polypropylene, and polystyrene. So in review, thermosets, once they're cured, cannot be melted again. Think, to remember, think like they're set. And then there is cross-linking. While with thermoplastics, they can be reused and recycled. And there's no cross-linking, so it won't be as strong. Thank you for watching. This video was brought to you by Oregon Tech's MMAT department.